Hello Canandaigua Academy seniors. This is Mr. Holmes and this is a tutorial to show you how to use the Google Takeout service. Google Takeout allows you to transfer all of the data from your school drive account to your personal computer or laptop at home. From there you can move it to your personal Google Drive account or another cloud storage account like Dropbox. The reason you have to do this is because your school Google accounts will not be accessible soon after graduation. If you want to take any of these files with you, you will need to transfer them before you leave. I'm going to show you how to use Google Takeout to do that. Here are the steps to transfer your data via Google Takeout. First open up a new tab and go to takeout.google.com The main thing that we want you to download is the information from your Drive account. By default, all of the Google products will be selected. I recommend you click Select None and then choose the ones you want to include. And the only one I'm going to include right now is Drive. For most everyone, that's going to be the only one that you're going to want to archive. Once you've chosen the products you want to archive, click Next. You're then asked to choose an archive format. There are different archive formats. Unless you're familiar with the other two, I recommend simply using a .zip file. You're also asked to choose a delivery method, and we think the best way to handle it is to get an email into your school Gmail account. So that's what I'm going to recommend that you do. Then you click Create Archive. You then get a notification saying one or more products are being prepared. This could take a while depending on how many products you checked and how many files are in those products. It could take hours or even days to create, but my guess is that it won't take that long for you. When it's done, you'll get an email in your school Gmail account saying the Google Data Archive is ready. You can see I have the email. I'm going to double click on that email. At this point, it's important to note that you should download the archive on your home computer or laptop, not a school computer. You want to have it at home on something that you can control and not at school. Click Download Archive and it will begin downloading on your computer. It could take a while to download depending on how many files and folders you have in your school drive. Once you've downloaded the files, you can then upload them onto your personal Drive account by going to Drive and clicking on New Folder Upload and or File Upload to move them to your personal Drive account. This is my personal Drive account and I want to upload some files that I've downloaded from my school Google account so I'm going to go to New and we'll upload a file. I place that Takeout folder on my desktop and it was the drive that I actually downloaded. So I'm going to scroll down to find a file. Here is a file, 1920s. I'm going to upload it to my personal account. There it is, 1920s.doc. You certainly can do more than one at a time if you wanted to go to File, Desktop, Takeout, Drive, and if you want, you can click here and then use the shift key, click down below, and it will upload all of those files if you want. I'm not going to do that right now, but you certainly could do that. Don't forget, you can also upload entire folders. And I can upload the entire drive folder, or I can open the drive folder and only upload parts of it if I want to like for example Google Trainings. I'll just upload that to my personal Drive account. I'll click OK. You can see over here we are uploading it. It takes a little bit of time, less than a minute. It's almost done. There are 74 items in it. Uh, it doesn't take very long and there's the folder and it's there. Using this process will allow you to keep all of your school files and folders to use as you wish after you've graduated. Thanks for watching and have a great day.